let's talk about this product in the refractive or the refractive cataract patient. So I think it's important to think about pre-op as well as post-op. And the question's worded more towards post-op. Well, I want us to think about pre-op too, because in that dry eye patient, if you can't get a good biometry or you can't get a good refraction, then that's an issue. And in some of these patients, we can use these products preoperatively to improve the tear film and subsequently improve the ocular surface. But postoperatively, I think it's extremely important in some of these patients like a diabetic patient uh, or in terms of like, I don't know, post retina surgery as well as post cataract surgery. I'm encouraging my retinologists to use this if they have to remove the epithelium I'd love for them to put an amniotic membrane on at the end of the case because a lot of those patients can't re-epithelialize real easily. So I think whether it's a refractive patient, a refractive cataract patient, a cornea transplant, or a retina patient, I think that amniotic membranes such as ACLFX have a whole wide range of therapeutic options.